All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all honor and glory to Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Rekha Kodash, double honor to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the Akim, pushing his word with truth, charity, and with charity. Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word and he calls God and Jehovah Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is his son's name, whom the word and he calls Jesus and Rekha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans are the Israelites according to the Holy Scriptures, as well as the speckled bird, the scattered Israelite foreigners scattered amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations to whom they've been scattered to, but whose lineage through their father's line, go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, you are Israelites no matter what your appearance may seem to be. And as always, I'm brother, your diary from the Great Stone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back at you with another lesson. It's going to be entitled, uh, it's going to be an exhortation hey, to basically continue, you see, because hey, as we... Uh, Hey, if you just look at the headlines, man, that's been coming out the last year, the last two weeks, the last month, it all points to the end of, end of this, uh, of Esau eating the self-proclaimed white man society, which ultimately is the uh, uprising of the kingdom of heaven, which is going to be here on the planet Earth, ruled by Jacob, you Israelites, man, our Lord, first and foremost. You see, so hey, as we can see, the end of all things is at hand. This is First uh, Peter 4 and verse 7. It says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be therefore sober and watch unto prayer. You see, and I'm doing this lesson because, you know, hey, being in Babylon and great, especially in these times, you know, uh, you know, you, you know, you're going to be sometimes you get that spirit of just a hey, you just be up. You just be uh, just be frustrated, you know. Just be ready for this shit to be over with. You, you you ready for the next stage? But hey, seeing uh, hey, seeing that the Lord is working, hey, hey, we don't have that much time, man, and hey, that's uplifting, you know. <laughs> seeing that all these prophecies are about to take place, it says Book of Habakkuk. It says that at the end it shall speak. Hey, it's proof we're at the end. You know, you just had North Korea. I believe it was North Korea, um, basically shoot off uh, test nukes over Japan which is something they haven't done since 2017. Supposedly, it's been propaganda as far as what Russia's been doing with these nukes and so forth, but hey, even a talk of this show you that the spirit, that, that, that what the spirit of the Lord is urging on, what we're finna enter into, that third war's war, which at the end, according to the scriptures, hey, hey, the Lord is gonna come, is gonna prevail out of all that, you know? Hey, um, you got these, uh, the, the, you got the digital currencies, the karagma finna be implemented. You know, you keep on seeing more and more of a push toward that. Hey, and when we see this, hey, we should rejoice, man, because hey, this is signs of the end time. You know, hey, I like to think of it like this. We have less time. We have less time here more than hey, we don't have much more time and we have less time. We're closer to the end than <laughs> than than ever. You see, we, hey, we ain't got 14 more years, man. We're not going backwards in time. We're going forward, man. Hey, we're looking forward and hastening unto the kingdom of heaven, man, which evidently is here. This is Romans chapter 13 and verse 11. And that knowing the time that now it is high time to awake out of sleep for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe. So hey, we must hey, continue to be watchmen and hey, uh, speak on these things, you know, measure the times diligently, man. And ultimately, hey, hey, do the good works, which is pushing this word, man, because hey, hey, our salvation, our deliverance. A hey, rest from our sorrow, as it says in uh, Isaiah the 14 chapter, hey, is near. It's very near. You see? So we must, hey, we must be found faithful. It says, verse 12, the night is far spent. The day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the work of darkness and let us put on the arm of light. Right. Let us walk how we ought to walk so the Lord be pleased with us. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering and wantonness. No, just careless and just 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 passing the time and hey, we got to be on point we got to be mentally sober mentally s sane and you know uh up to date on our p's and q's it says not in strife and envying but put you on the lord yahweh mashiach and make no provision for the flesh to fulfill the lust thereof right so you know hey, we got to be in order man hey the time is very short man you know this is uh psalms 102 and 13 thou shalt arise and have mercy upon zion the zion being the the Israel of the Lord, the Lord's elect. It says, for the time to favor her, yea, the said time has come, right? And hey, the Lord has been turning our size, our, 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 our sorrow into joy. As it says in the book of John, I believe it's 16. But this world's joy has been turned into mourning, man. These people, I, I, they haven't been reverencing, reverencing the Lord. They haven't been putting the Lord first. You know, they've been trusting in Egypt, man. The Lord is going to hey, come back and judge them for these things. But favor is going to be shown to the Lord's elect. The scriptures speak about how the Lord has care to his elect. You see? 
So we're finna get, we're finna receive the favor, the mercies, the benefits of serving Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. You see why the rest of these people, a hey, be judged, man, for what they've been doing, man. This is uh, Lamentations three and verse sixteen. It says, "He have also broken my teeth with gravel stones. He have covered me with ashes, and thou hast removed my soul far from peace. I forgot prosperity." And I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. And sometimes hey, you get, you know, for lack of a better word, you get discouraged, but you just get, you just, hey, you get caught up in the matrix, so to say. That's why you got to remain spiritual. You know, you got to hey, stick with these scriptures, the first love, man, because they hey, contemplating too much on the world and, and, and the bullshit life that we got to live, you know, harping too much on that. It, 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 it'll stop you from seeing what the Lord is doing, right? So verse 18 is, and I said, my strength and my hope is perished from the Lord. Verse 19, remember my affliction and my misery, the wormwood and the gal. Verse 20, it says, my soul have them still in remembrance and is humbled in me. Verse 21 is the point. It says, this I recall to my mind. Therefore, have I hope. You see, so hey, you going through all these afflictions. Then you, hey, you crack over the, the scriptures. You read about the testaments, the generations of old, what the Lord is finna get ready to do. And then you see what's happening in the earth and you read that strictly out the scriptures. Hey, then you be refreshed in the spirit, man. You see? And, and your faith is, is lifted up even more. It says, verse 22, it is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. And hey, we still here now hey, through the passions and the mercy of the Lord. Us here now is a, is a testament that the Lord is still dealing with us. What is it? Jeremiah 30. We still, hey, the sun is out right now. The moon was out last night. The Lord is still dealing with us, man. Or Jeremiah, yeah, I believe it's Jeremiah 30. Or 16. Let me just make sure. I just want to be on point. ordinance yeah jeremiah uh <sighs> jeremiah 31 yeah jeremiah 31 you know i ain't gonna read it but that's the one i was the point so seeing that they, that that covenant is still here is a is testament that the Lord is still dealing with us. Lamentations 3 and 23, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. And we serve a faithful power. You see, a, the Lord, he doesn't let down those that, that hope and look for his mercy. It says, verse 24, Yahweh is my portion, say of my soul. Therefore, will I have hope in him. Yahweh is good unto them that wait for them to the soul that seeketh him. It is good that a man shall both hope and quietly wait on the salvation of the Lord. And sometimes, you know, hey, that's why the scriptures admonish us to not lose patience. And patience possess your soul. All we have is a, a short time. You see? The kragma is here. The infrastructure is being built right before our eyes, man. I just, uh, I didn't get to read the article yet, but hey, it's a program named Swift being introduced. The Elder Ritaz and what you just brought out. You know, an article and so forth. But hey, man, it's all happening, man. This is... uh. This is Joel 3 and 16. It says, Yahweh also shall roar out of Zion and utter his voice from Jerusalem and the heavens and the earth shall shake. But Yahweh will be the hope of his people and the strength of the children of Israel. And in these times, you know, often in that nuclear uh, nuclear war that's going to take place. Though, hey, our only hope is Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. He's going to be for us, man. He's going to deliver us and save us, man. You see, this is uh, Sirach 16 and 13. And we ended off right here. The sinner shall not escape with his bulls. And the patience of the godly shall not be frustrated. So the sinner, a hey, Esau, Edom, the chief, <laughs> said there, and a hey, two thirds of our people that take home unto him, the Lord's gonna render unto you as your works have been. It says, and the patience, the enduring, the sufferings, the trials of the godly, a hey, Jacob is the godly, the Lord's elect, he's dealing with the one third, 144,000, 
shall not and the patience what we've been uh patiently waiting on that salvation the deliverance the new bodies the kingdom of heaven where in blood of righteousness all these things shall not be made frustrated meaning to made to no avail not basically not going to happen so hey, the lord hey, everything that the lord promised us a hey, we're getting ready to receive it man it's just a little bit more time you see it's less time than we think man so, hey, Lord willing, this was just a quick and edifying exhortation. Call Halayim La, Yahweh Bahasham, Yahweh Shai Bahasham, Hawakha Kurash, the bondage to the elders and the apostles of the great millstone. Salutations to all the I can push the word to charity with charity. Shalom, Barakatham, Wa Baba Ball.